Let's understand how to solve problems involving mixtures. Peter bought a mixture of $0.25, $0.50 and 50 cents dry fruits. That means there are three different types of mixtures. One is costing 25 cents, the other one 50 cents and the third one is 75 cents. And these mixtures of, are of dry fruits. The number of 25 cent dry fruits are three more than twice the number of 50 cents dry fruits. The number of 75 cents dry fruits was one less than the number of 50 cents one. If we spend dollar 525 altogether, how many dry fruits of each kind did he buy? Right? So this is dollar amount here. So that is how the question is, right? Now it's kind of confusing. So now what we will do is we'll try to place it in a way so that we can understand it better. So let's read it again and then kind of translate it into our words. It says there are three kinds of mixtures. So one mixture is costing dollars 0 0.25 the other one is costing dollar 0 0.50 and the third one is costing dollar 0 0.75. So these are kind of packets, right? Let's say this, this is one packet, right? This is another packet and each packet is costing these many cents. Now it says the number of dollar 25 dry fruits are three more than twice the number of 50 cents dry fruits right so we've missed some units here let's say dollars assume them okay now so when that means we have to translate that into a type of equation right so let us say that the number of packets for each is let's say this is x this is y and this is z so let's define these variables x y z where x is the number of packet for dry fruits costing 25 cents, y be the number of packets for dry fruits costing 50 cents and z be the number of packets which are costing 75 cents each. Now let's read the question again. The number of dollar 25 dry fruits are three more than twice the number of 50. So these are three more than twice the number of 50. That means we got our equation x is 3 more than, that means 3 plus twice y. So the number of 25 cents dry fruits are 3 more than twice the number of 50 cents dry fruits. The number of 75 cents dry fruits was 1 less than, 75 is 1 less than the number of 50 cents one. So z is 1 less than y, right? So y minus 1, okay, 1 less than this. So let's read it once again, see if the equations are correct. The number of 25 cents dry fruits are 3 more than, 3 more than twice the number of 50 cents, correct. The number of 75 cents dry fruits was 1 less than the number of 50 cents, so y minus 1, perfect. If he spent dollar five twenty five altogether, how many dry fruits of each kind did he buy? So that is the question. So altogether the money spent is five twenty five. So I think we got some relations here, and we can now find out an equation which relates all these things with money. So money is if you buy x packets of twenty five cents, then how much money is involved? x times 25 cents. y times 50 will give you money for those packets and z times 75 cents money for these packets and their total should be 525, right? So we get another relation and that is that 0 0.25 times x plus 0 0.50 times y plus 0.75 times z 
is equals to 525. So that is the relation relating the cost of each. So now we have one equation which relates the cost, the second relation which relates the numbers. Now we have numbers here also, three variables and we have kind of two equations. What should we do? What we can do here is we can write all in terms of one thing. X is in terms of Y, Z is also in terms of Y and we'll leave Y as such. So that is a good idea. So we will replace this x. We'll replace this x with 2y plus 3. We'll leave the y as such and replace z with y minus 1. In that case, we will get an equation which will have only y in it and we'll find what y is. Correct? So let's do that part. So let me write it down here now. So it is 0 0.25 times x. And what is x? x is 2y plus 3. And then we have plus 0 0.50 of y. We'll leave this y. 0 0.75 of z, which is y minus 1. So we'll write y minus 1 here. Now we have an equation in y's. And this all this is equal to $5.25. So we get one equation in y. Now we can calculate, right? So let's open the bracket and solve for y. So it's 25 cents times 2 is 50 cents. So we get 0 0.50y. 25 times 3 is 75 cents. So we get plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.50y plus 0 0.75y minus 0 0.75 is equals to 5.25. Correct? Now we have so many y's. Let's count how many. These are our y's, right? So 0 0.5, 0 0.5 is 1 and 1.75y. So we get 1.75y. And how about the money concern? So we got 75 cents here and minus 75 cents makes it 0. So 1.75y is actually equals to 5.25. So that is the equation. Now if we solve this equation, we will get y, correct? So let's do it on the right side. So we have this equation, which is 1.75y is equals to 5.25. Dividing by 1.75, we get y equals to 5.25 divided by 1.75. And that is equals to 5.25 divided by 1.75 gives us 3. So we get y as 3. Now when we get y as 3, we can find what x and z are. Right? x is equal to 2y plus 3. That means 2 times 3 plus 3. Right? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. And z will be equal to y minus 1. That means 3 minus 1, which is 2. Do you understand? So, if he spent dollar 5.25 all together, how many dry fruits of each kind did he buy? So, the answer is, you can write down the answer clearly. And that will be, I'll write down the numbers here itself. X is 9 for us. Y is, we found 3 for and z is 2. So that is our answer. So the packets are x, y, and z. I mean 25 cents we bought 9. For 50 cents Peter bought 3 packets and 75 cents Peter bought 2 packets. So write that as your answer, right? So it is 9 for 0 0.25 cents and 3 for 50 cents and Two, which were worth 75 cents, right? So that is the answer for you, right? Have a good look at it, and I hope you understand how to do it. Okay, forgive my typing errors here, but I guess you understand what we're trying to do. So the question was that we had three different kinds of dry fruits, and we knew that Peter bought 
dry fruits worth $5.25. And the relation was given to us that dry fruits which are worth 25 cents were three more than two times those which are worth 50 cents. And the ones which were worth 75 cents were actually one less than the 50 cents were. So that gives us the relation between the three numbers of packets and then we knew the total cost. From there we calculated the number of packets required by writing the equation in one variable that is we translated all those x, y, z's the variables defined into one variable y in terms of y. So that was kind of a critical step for us to do and then solve for y and put back the value of y to calculate other variables and write down your answer. So that is how it is to be done. I hope you understand this. Go through this video once again. Try to understand what we did. That should be helpful to you. Thank you and all the best.